All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, which means in the name, Yahawashai, that's the name of the only begotten Son, Bahasham, in the name, Rachakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit. All right. I want to give double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone or GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. I'm going to jump right into this. And this is from the book of Isaiah, the 35th chapter. I'm going to read the heading, okay, of this chapter. It says, Joyful flourishing of Yahweh Shai's kingdom. Okay. Now I'm going to jump to verse 4. Isaiah 34, 35 and 4, it says, Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Okay. Now, it says, Say to them that are, a, are of a fearful heart, now, when you, well, I'm looking in the margin, and for fearful, it has hasty, okay? So, say to them that are of a hasty heart, be strong, fear not. You know, don't, don't get uh, antsy, you know? The Lord is coming, and he's going to, you know, uh, he's going to redeem his elect. We need to do what the scripture says, make our calling and election sure. Okay, because the Lord is coming back. Okay, and he is going to save his elect. Okay, so let me read this again. Isaiah 35 and 4. Say to them that are of, a, of our shit. Slow down, Jake. Isaiah 35 and 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart or hasty heart, meaning mind. Okay, be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. Okay? We know this. We know that the Lord is coming, but we can't get hasty. Okay? We can't get antsy, man. Like, oh, man, you know. The scriptures speak about that. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me get... uh. Sirach, the second chapter of all the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter two and verse. Uh, I started one. This is Sirach two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright or thy mind and constantly endure. Constantly, not, you know. Endure right now and then don't endure and then go back and endure. It ain't no back and forth thing. It's a constant thing. We have to constantly endure. Okay? And endure means to be made harder. Okay? It says, Set thy heart aright, Sirach 2 and 2, and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble okay and see we're in a time of trouble and it's going to get worse the the time of jacob's trouble okay the hour of temptation okay we can't get hasty in that time we can't get hasty in this time okay the lord is coming back with vengeance man and he's going to save his elect all right matter of fact let me get another scripture let me go to second thessalonians Put that right there. Let me go to Second Thessalonians chapter one. And let me see. In verse six, this is Second Thessalonians one and six. It says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. He to be, He exists. Okay. That's the brother calling. I'll hit him right back. It says, 
seeing it is a righteous thing with the heavenly father, Yahweh, all right, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, okay, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the heavenly father, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, okay? So, again, Isaiah 35 and 4, say to them that are of a fearful heart, and this is what we tell our people, man, okay? We, even amongst ourselves, be strong, Fear not, okay? Behold, your God will come with vengeance, okay? So those of a hasty heart, be strong, fear not. Even the, the scripture also says the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, okay? It says, behold, your God will come. Isaiah 55 and 11, the Lord's word won't return unto him void, Okay? And it's a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense them that trouble us. Okay? Your God, behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. And we have to fully believe that, man. Not get hasty, not do things, you know, in, in the time of trouble, make hasty, get, get, get into that mindset. I just ain't man, you know. You know? In other words, keep the faith. Okay? Keep the faith. Okay? Um, you know what? Let me go to Sirach. Let me see. Chapter 11. Let me see where it's at. Sirach 11 and 11. There is one that laboreth and taketh pains and maketh haste and is so much the more behind. <laughs> Making haste. Because when you go into the word haste, okay, as a matter of fact, let me Grab this other device. Let's pull up the word haste on the online etymology. Okay. Let's get the word haste. It's a lock, you. H A S T E. Haste. Hurrying haste. Celerity. Swiftness, speed, okay? Basically hurrying, okay? And you know, you can get in a hurry and you can make some bad decisions, man. And in, th in this case, hasting, like, you get all fidgety and antsy, you done lost the, you done lost the faith, man, okay? And look what the scriptures say again. It says, there is one that laboreth and taketh pains and maketh haste and is so much the more behind than fell back. Check out verse 12. It says, again, there is another that is slow and had need of help, wanting ability and full of poverty. Yet the eye of the Lord looked upon him for good and set him up. From his low estate. Okay. And lifted up his head from misery. So that many that saw it marveled at him. Okay. Prosperity and adversity. Life and death. Poverty and riches. Come of the Lord man. Everything that we go through. Is the most high doing it. No matter what it is, the worst shit, the best shit. 
richest poverty. Okay? Abounding in a basin. It all comes from y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And, you know, like these wacky tacky Christians like to quote this. They like to, the Lord don't get you more than what you can handle. Well, that's true. That's scriptural. The Lord is not going to tempt us above that, you know, where we able to handle me. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? Um, so we have to keep that in our mind, you know, that the Lord ain't going to just give us more, going to put more on us than what, the, what, than what we can handle, man. You okay? So we can't make, we can't get hasty in the time of trouble, man. Okay? Not to say we won't be moving swiftly. But it's those antsy decisions that, that come with a lack of faith behind it, you see? And that's where we mess up. That's when mistakes get to, get to being made, man, okay? It's a balance to this whole thing, man, okay? You know, certain things we ought to be hasty about, certain things we're not. Okay. Um, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to close. And with that, I'm going to say shallow warm.